My name is Obungu Sospita Owich, the President of Furia Revolution Movement Kenya. A movement that is currently championing for the rights, the fundamental freedom and rights of the most vulnerable in our, in our community. We must talk about how we, the Kenyan people, are supposed to be managed. These issues that affect the most vulnerable must be discussed on top of the table, not below the table or under the table. These matters must be on top of the table and not on the menu behind or below the table. It is time that they must be addressed. We are so happy that the Azimio leadership has identified serious, pertinent, and important matters that needs to be discussed. The first one that they have put on the table is the matters touching on high cost of living. The second engagement must be around the reconstitution of IBC as a commission. The third matter must be around auditing of the 2022 general elections. And the fourth matter must be around matters to strengthen the political, the existence of political parties in this republic. We, the members of the Sufuria movement, we are so happy by the bold step that has been taken by the Azimio leadership. We are telling the Azimio leadership led by Raela Amolo Odinga that you have done a very good thing by nominating or giving out Stephen Kalonzo Sioka to lead the bipartisan wing of the engagement. We are so happy about it as the Sufria team. And in the team that you have just given out, we are so happy about how you have put up the regional balancing and the mandate at which you have accorded each one of them and what they are supposed to discuss. Now, our first demand as Sufria movement, we are telling the Azimio leadership that because we are also pushing the same agenda with you, we are discussing about how to reduce high cost of living. We are requesting that we also given a, be given a chance to sit on, on the table and to see to it that this matters touching on high cost of living are talked about and finished properly so that we don't have any problem that will affect us as people. Because as a representative of this movement, we fully believe that our fight in this country is something that what worth noticed. We have been struggling, demonstrating, putting on our sufferers on our heads. We have received a lot of insults. We have received a lot of beatings. We have received a lot of frustrations through this rogue regime, through this rogue government. But we have not relented. We have continued on with the struggle. We have continued on pushing on on the agenda. And we are telling you that it is time, Baba, that we are requesting politely that you also recognize us and at least nominate two of us, just two members from our side as Sufria movement, so that we also sit on that table and help you in terms of identifying the matters that are going to be talked about, discuss them, be part of them, and give a report to the Republic just as a movement. That we are requesting. We are doing that as a pressure group. So for real revolution movement is not a political party. So for real revolution movement is a pressure group that is pushing this rogue government to listen to our grievances, to listen to our problems, to know, to, to know that us as a people, we have the full mandate of the constitution to assemble ourselves, to talk about the issues that affect us, to be part and parcel of this republic. That we are requesting because we know that there is a structured engagement that is going to happen or to take place very soon. Out of that structured engagement, that is where we are humbly requesting that we also be given some chance. And at least just two, we are requesting just two members, just two members of the movement to sit, on the to sit at the table and do a serious engagement that will also impress 
the movement, that we are part of the engagement. Lastly, I want to tell William Samoy Ruto, you must understand that the Constitution of Kenya describes the role of the president. You have somebody there who is calling himself the deputy president. This is the Gadi Gachagua. This is William Samoy Ruto. You must understand that the office of the presidency has a role to play. The office of the presidency, which comprises of the president and the deputy president, is an office that has a symbol of national unity. It is an office that should unite all Kenyan people. It is an office that should bring all of us to, to the table. It is an office that should make sure that all the affairs pertaining and relating to the Kenyan people are well taken care of. Therefore, it is wrong. It is retrogressive. It is barbaric. It is uncalled for. It is uncouth to hear every, every time this president and his deputy insult Kenyans, intimidate Kenyans, threaten Kenyans, abuse Kenyans by telling them that even if you say this, we are not going to listen to this. That even if you put on sophorias on your head, we are not going to listen to what you are, you are trying to agitate for. But you must understand that we, before we started putting on these sophorias on our head, we were at some point not feeling what we are feeling today. It is the condition that has made us to put on these sophorias. And as the president of the sophoria movement, I will keep on telling my members to continue putting on this sophoria as a symbol that all is not well. That they must listen to it. The international community, the diplomats, the church, the law society of Kenya, the IPOA, the N NCIC, all these bodies and institutions help us to push for this government to see to it that they respect the rule of law, they respect the constitution. Just recently, the Kenya National Police Service, which we, ke we changed from the Kenya National Police Force, has resorted back to their old style of dealing with innocent civilians. Courtesy of this constitution, they are supposed to protect and defend the interests of their people, protect the properties, protect the lives of our people. But they have resorted into intimidating, threatening, beating, killing the innocent Kenyan people, Kenyan people, and even the ordinary Kenyan people. I want to condemn, in the strongest terms possible, the brutal act that were meted on the innocent civilians, mostly in Nyalenda, in Kisumu, in Obunga, Kondele, and most parts of Kisumu County, whereby we ended up losing a lot of lives in, because of this Rogue police officers who does not understand the constitution. We're telling you, the police, that the poor must act with speed and make sure that these rogue police officers who killed and murdered our people, who made our people to still sit in their beds at different hospitals in this Republic of Kenya simply because they were brutalized, that these rogue police officers should not even stay around us. They must be, they belong to jail and they should be in jail. That we are saying as a movement. Those that are speaking bad about demonstration, they must know that demonstration is anchored in the Kenyan constitution. Article 37 of the Kenyan constitution stipulates very well on how we need to do a serious demonstration in this republic. The first way is to notify the police. After notifying the police, we are supposed to assemble ourselves and start our peaceful processions. Peaceably. But we are perturbed that every time that we notice the police that we have a movement, the police comes, the first thing they do is first to intimidate us through, using tear gas canisters. Following it with the beatings. They don't care whether they are beating our mothers, whether they are beating our fathers, or they are killing their, 
the, the younger ones. Theirs is beating because they have received instructions. We must not operate like that because this country belongs to all of us and we must be given equal chance to speak our minds. As for demonstrations, Baba, we are telling you this. Because we had William Samuel Ruto speak bad over the weekend that ata kufinya na nimufinye ati nitawafinya ati will finya you and ata kuja kutufinya kama wa Kenya. We are telling you, Baba, continue being stronger. We are following you 101% and we are not even removing 1% out of that. We must follow you. We will follow you. We will keep on following you. Your instructions are our orders. We will be taking them. Your wishes are our authorities. We will be taking the authorities from you. And nobody will remove it from us. We are not relenting any longer. Give us a signal that demonstrations is come, a demonstration is coming. We are going to demonstrate this time round it is going to be messy, not the way it has always been done. We have organized ourselves in a very thrilling manner. This time round, it is going to be very thrilling, not the way it has always been done. That we are going to assure this government. Lastly on that, we want to tell Kimani Chungwa, Nini Nyoro, and Rigadi Gachagwa that this country does not belong to you three people. This is our country. Respect the Constitution. You swore to protect the Constitution. You swore to protect the interests of the Kenyan people. Respect us. Don't throw insults at, at us. Don't throw insults at Raila Molodinga. Speak to Raila Molodinga. Don't speak at Raila Molodinga. Speak to Kenyans. Don't speak at Kenyans. That is a clear warning that we are giving you. Or else, or else, or else, we are going to come for you. And know that power is temporary. Whatever you are doing today is temporary. Those positions you are holding today, there are people that have, that have held those, those positions before. The late Kenyatta, the first president of this republic, was in that position. The late Mwai Kibaki was in that position. The late former Daniel Torre teacher, Arab boy, was once in that position. The current and the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Uru Mwigai Kenyatta, once sat in that position. William Samoy Ruto, you are not the first person to sit in that seat. Don't frustrate Kenyans. Whatever you are doing to Uru today, whatever you are doing to Raila today, will also be done unto you. That is my advice. Treat these people with decorum, with respect, and with a lot of human way because they are also part of this Republic of Kenya. Thank you.